the hunger crisis is all too real. Grace Bonilla is the administrator of the Human Resources Administration for the New York City Department of Social Services. As administrator for HRA, you connect millions of New Yorkers with services, including food stamps. Help us understand the new landscape as we enter a new year. Absolutely. So yes, HRA has uh, 12 anti-poverty fighting uh, services, among them with SNAP, or what people know as food stamps. And what we see coming up in the landscape at the federal level is this constant attack and barrage on a, a attack on poor people. Uh, this particular federal administration has taken it a systematic approach to tweaking SNAP around the edges with devastating results for our most vulnerable New Yorkers. Uh, three uh, particular uh, things that are coming out of the federal government is the attack on categorical eligibility. Uh, another regulation that's coming out is uh, the changes to abled body uh, adults without dependents. And of course, the one that's gotten the most attention has been everything around public charge. Uh, I can tell you that all three are incredibly confusing. It's even confusing for us sometimes. So for the regular New Yorker who is trying to survive, it is an insurmountable amount of information. And we strongly believe that this is a systematic way of confusing poor people and making sure they don't access benefits that they deserve. Many of our hidden neighbors, our immigrant population, will be affected by the public charge rule, which you referred to. What's being done to cut through the fear and confusion about the public charge rule and how it may affect hunger? The public charge rule was one of those gut-wrenching rules that when it came from the federal government, we at the city uh, were very proactive to make sure that we organized our city council members, our uh, CBOs, the advocates in the community around not just immigration, but also around food insecurity. And together we have been trying uh, very hard to break down some of the myths that are the, uh, out there. What are some of the myths? So by way of example, someone who is a legal permanent resident may think they're affected by public charge when in fact mm -hmm. they're not. Mm -hmm. uh, what we have, we've already seen the impact of the public charge rule uh, by way of example from uh, January of 2017 to January of 2019, about 1% of citizens have come off SNAP. We could say that's With because- With no explanation. No explanation. However, when you look at the non-citizen population, it's about 15%. Really? And many of them are children who are citizens with confused parents who don't know if they should continue to take advantage of the program. Uh, these are benefits that people are eligible for. And the largest concern around public charge and categorical eligibility is that the most impacted folks are going to be children and the elderly. 